Oh, welcome, Waffle Waffettes. So we are back with the brilliant Immortals Phoenix Rising on the PlayStation 5, and we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we got a couple of things done. We opened up quite a few chests, got ourselves some potions, got ourselves some materials that we can use later on in the playthrough to upgrade our weapons and armor. We also went into another Tartarus dungeon and we unlocked the bow finally. So I've now got myself a brilliant bow to get some of those sweet, sweet headshots. We finally caught up to this messenger guy and saved him again from some bloody troopers and a gorgon. And after I did that, he decided to steal my braces and run away from me like a little turd. <laughs> and we've now reached the temple where the oracle is, who's supposed to tell me how I can remove the curse from my brother and my shipmates who have been turned to stone. I'm going to assume by Gorgons or Medusa or something, but I guess we'll find out. But yeah, let's go speak to the oracle, hopefully get my braces back, and then I think we might be doing this uh, Tartarus dungeon right here in this video. And then I think we should be getting pretty close to leaving the Prologue Island and heading off into the main game. So yeah, let's get into it. Before I talk to the Oracle, I just want to quickly do something because I want to make sure that everything's synced up properly in this video because I'm having a few uh, a few syncing issues with my videos at the moment. I feel like sometimes my capture card is dropping frames. So a good way for me to sync up my head and the game, and my, my commentary and the game, is to just look at something random and just go dud, dud, dud. Right, so if that's still synced up after recording for an hour and a half, then I know I haven't lost any frames during recording. Not too sure what's going on, but, you know, just teething troubles at the moment. It's a new setup. I've only had it for a month. <laughs> Let's talk to the Oracle. Step forward into the light. The mysteries I have to offer are as infinite as as the grains of sand scattered across the floor. What is your question? Oh, wise oracle, how do I reverse the curse and turn everyone back from stone? Wow, that's a real, <laughs> that's a real question. I don't know. It's a mystery. Well, then, how do I get my stolen bracers back? Ah. Another mystery. Yes, that's why I came to you. The Oracle. Oh, yes. Well, circling that, I'm just a priest. The Oracle here turned to stone. But the smoke here is something else. <laughs> Do you think sand is called sand because it's between the sea and the land? Uh... Have you seen a little guy with golden hair? No? <sighs> I'm going to go. <laughs> What's so funny? You said to go twice, <laughs> but you still haven't left. My brother was turned to stone, and I can't save him. The one person I tried to help robbed me. And all you can do is laugh. Whoa! Those are all true. Are you an oracle? Oh, oh, on your way out. Can you pick me up something? I'm starving! Father of your line is not father of your kin. A mountain crowned with flowing locks is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind herald's aid, go on the attack, and sooner than later, change them all back. A pearl of seas, forge fires lit, a wise child convinced a feather's weight of wit. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown. Hero on high. It's time for you to come home. Oh, now that was a prophecy. What was? Isn't it weird 
A prophecy ends with I see, but in this case I don't? Stop! Thief! You can have these bracelets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Come with me. No! Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do. It's kind of a problem. So? We good? Not even remotely. I needed an offering for the Oracle. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face. But that's all behind us now. We have to go. Didn't like my... <sighs> we don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief? Don't look so smug. They won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. What do you mean, fly? Focus. After that, we need a jar stolen from Aeolus. It's in there? I'll go begin the preparations. Meet me at the top of the observatory with the jar. I... I don't understand. You're in grave danger. Help me help you. Okay, but about what you said earlier. And you're gone. Okay, well, gotta figure out how to get past that barrier. Okay. Is Zeus and Prometheus going to start talking now? Because that was a pretty long cutscene, wasn't it? If you even want to consider that a cutscene. <laughs> so we need to now go into this rift dungeon, I think, to get another piece for my wings. So, no, no, I don't know. We need to go into this dungeon to get a jar that we need. And then we need to go to the observatory and solve a big puzzle, if I remember correctly, so that we can get a new piece for our wings, so that we will have the ability to finally fly with our broken wings. So first things first, we might as well go into this dungeon so we can get that jar, and we will also find a um, another lightning bolt in there from Zeus so we can get closer to upgrading our stamina. Because like I said, upgrading your stamina is probably one of the most important things. Probably more important than your health, really, because with your health, you can you could just dodge a lot and you'll be perfectly fine. With lots of stamina, you'll be able to fly longer, travel places quicker, and you'll be able to uh, do a lot more damage and use more of your powers more often and stuff like that. So it probably is more beneficial to upgrade your stamina over your uh, health. Even though you can upgrade both. How do I, uh... Do I just jump in? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lovely. But when he, um... When he said he's on his way, I think he's referring to Typhon, that giant titan. The one who's gonna kill Zeus. The one who's trapped and murdered all of the gods. And who is going after Zeus at the moment. Who I am prophesied to stop. That's who's gonna arrive soon. That's why I've gotta hurry. <laughs> Lovely. Retrieve Alios's jar. Before Phoenix seemed daunting, but the light of endless stars helped show the way. Looks like we're going to have quite the puzzle now. Why is it free? Ah, oh. I think we need we need more than two, don't we? I think we need like four for these things, don't we? Oh no, maybe that's only if you're using like really small rocks or log pieces. I suppose these rocks are very, very solid and dense, ain't they? Yeah, there we go. Lovely. But this is what I was talking about, I think, in the last video when I was doing some of the chess puzzles. And I was talking about some of the puzzles in this game and that. But I guess those rocks just are a bit heavier. But normally you need to put like four things on there. But I think that's if you're using like little tiny boulders that you find out in the wild. Or using things like random logs that you get when you cut a tree down and stuff like that. But as always, as always, make sure you um, make sure you use. Uh... Can I pick this one up? That's got to go on there because it's lighter, ain't it? And this is much heavier. Oh, yeah, you can push them, can't you? I keep forgetting you have to push these. <laughs> God's sake. But, yeah, make sure, as always, you pay attention for the chest in these dungeons. I think there's one in this one. Yep. There's the jar we need to get. 
and there's a chest to find, and as always, at the end of the dungeon, there is a Zeus lightning bolt. Lovely. But I hope you guys and girls have been enjoying this playthrough, because this is going to be a very, very long playthrough. I reckon it's going to be quite a lot of videos. Bloody hell, mate. Oh! It's just very awkward to fight at the moment, because I have literally none of my powers. <laughs> so it makes it a lot more difficult. I need to dodge a bit more, like, you know, slower, so I get that little, like, bonus. Oh no, you can't, you can't, you can't parry the red attacks. Hey, come on, the fucking towel got me. Ow. Oh, watch out! Oh, shit, I fucking went straight into it. Good job I've got a lot of pomegranates and I'm not making a lot of uh, mistakes at the moment. Well, I am making a lot of mistakes, but not like severe mistakes. <laughs> oh, so he is coming over then. So that is what he was talking about, the messenger, aka the thief that stole my braces. <laughs> I think these are like mega pomegranates that fully heal you. Or apples. Or like golden pomegranates. But yeah, if you're really low on health, you can eat these. Uh, don't eat them if you don't need to, though, because sometimes they're dotted around, and then if you're facing a boss or something, then you can eat them and uh, get fully healed. Actually, there might be a boss in this bit. Yeah, there's a boss in this bit, actually. Hey, look, there's the uh, chest. Oh, I remember this bloody chest. I got myself killed on this bit so many times. <laughs> Um, I have to hold L1, but I... How am I supposed to... I guess we need to use that one for something else then. Right, I'm going to probably fall to my death. If you do fall on this bit, you don't die, but you lose a lot of your health, so try not to. I should be okay, I've done a lot of platforming games. It's so tiny, isn't it? Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I did a lot better this time. When I first got to this dungeon off camera, I fell so many times on that bit, I was disgusted with myself. Hey, look, we've got a new helmet. What's that do, then? Plus 10% damage with axe. No, that's not the one I want. I have to look around, because the uh, helmet that I want, I think it increases my damage with swords, and that's the one I want, because I use swords the most in this game. Like, I already... <laughs> like I already mentioned, I uh, I play very Bloodborne-esque in this game. Lots of uh, quick swipes and lots of uh, dodging and stuff. I don't really parry or use my axe very much or stuff like that. Which obviously I should, but I don't. Oh, well, at least we're over here now. I should have saved that uh, pomegranate over there and ate, ate it. Because I, I, sh I should have known I was going to fall. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Let's eat two pomegranates. There we go. I've got plenty at the moment. And soon we can start turning them into potions once we get to the mainland. Lovely. But yeah, hopefully we can get this dungeon finished, get the jar... Then solve the uh, constellation puzzle. I think it's one of those constellation puzzles. And then we'll get a ton of coins as a reward, which we can spend once we get to the mainland. And uh, we will also get the uh, upgrade for our wings, and then we'll be able to fly to the mainland. And then we should be ready in the next video to start stuff in the mainland. I got through this bit a lot quicker than I was expecting. I thought I was going to be on the prologue island for quite a long time. This is only episode number four, and we're uh, already nearly there. Right, uh, what do we have to do on this? I think we've got... A Drag a boulder, maybe. A little bit, little bit tedious, but we should be all right. Oh, I 
I've just run out of stamina, but we've just had enough left to get it there. <laughs> if you run out of stamina, it doesn't matter. You can just do it after you get some stamina back. God damn, look at this one. Here we go. Right, so I think we might be facing a boss now, if I'm thinking of the right dungeon. I don't know what the difficulty was. What was the difficulty of this place? One or two? I can't even remember. Let's have a look. One. Alright. I mean, this boss is... If it is the boss, it is very easy. If you know how to kill him the easy way. And I do, thankfully. <laughs> As Phoenix travelled through the underworld, his thoughts turned toward his mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Phoenix Ford, couldn't help. Them. A huge monster appears. Burn. It's ginormous, but Phoenix just laughed. <laughs> Come to Papa Mar no! So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. The adorable monster was ever so playful. Everything he had prayed for to take his mind off his worries. It was a gift from Olympus he would treasure forever. Deep within his vulnerable yet ever expanding heart. Ah, fine, have it your way. Just don't make me vomit. Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster attacked. God, Prometheus and Zeus are right irritating at times. But yeah, these Cyclopses, if you pick up these and chuck them at them, they take so much stun damage. So much stun damage. But yeah, you want to dodge their foot stomps, and you also want to dodge uh, their grand hand attacks, and when they lob things at you. How comes that didn't... There you go, now you can go to proper tan on him. With your uh, sword attacks, it regenerates your stamina. I don't think I've ever mentioned that. And you also got a combo meter, which I also don't think I've ever mentioned. But you've got to really dodge far back when he does that attack, because it's got a big range on it. So you want to like press back or forward, depending where you are, twice probably, to get out of range. Oh, come on, I weren't even on the ground. How did it still hurt me? That's better. There we go. Wrecked. I'm nearly there, little one. We have so much to talk about. Whoever or whatever you are, you don't scare me. I just like how he calls me little one. It's funny because I used to call my aunt's dog a uh, little one all the time. It was a, um, I think it was a, I think it was a cocker spaniel. It's not alive anymore. This was a while ago. But, um, yeah, I used to call it Little One all the time. <laughs> oh, it's, like, it's like he's referring to me as a cute little puppy. Wait. When the thief said this was Aeolus's jar, I thought that it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This little thing can't contain the wind? That's impossible. Lovely. So that it's contained with the God of Wind. Lovely. That's probably why I need it then, because we need to fly to the mainland. And I don't think these are like proper flappable wings. It's more like one of those gliders you get in the real world, I think. So maybe we need like the jar of wind to be able to like provide wind, I guess, so we can fly. Maybe. Maybe that's what we need it for. Right, let's get out of this place and hopefully we can get the next puzzle done. I've got about 10 minutes left. Got through that pretty well. I mean, we did die. Oh, no, we didn't die, did we? We fell once, but it didn't kill us. We just lost half of our health. <laughs> I think you could keep falling over and over again, and I don't think it kills you, to be honest. I think it just takes you all the way down to, like, practically zero health, and then if you do get hit by a monster or something, then you'll end up dead straight away. But I don't think it kills you from falling. It just takes all your health away.
Lovely. Another dungeon of Tartarus, completely aced. Lovely. Right, so let's go and get this constellation puzzle done quickly, because I'm pretty sure you need to do it to get the uh, the new wing part that you need. And also you get a bunch of coins for doing it. Of the observatory tower, the planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets and... You know what yeah, it does say on the quest, doesn't it? Obtain the wing piece by completing the observatory's constellation. Okay, so we do have to do it then. Alright. But you get a bunch of coins as a reward. You get quite a lot of coins normally from these puzzles because they do take a bit of work to get done. So uh, it's beneficial to do them anyway. Even if you don't get a wing piece, you need to do them anyway. It's worth it. Lovely. That was a very slow way of killing that, but it's dead. <laughs> That. I think we can also fast travel to this place, yeah. So if we need to come back here or leave at any point, we can fast travel back. I need to kill these. I think they're harpies, ain't they? Something. Look a bit like harpies. Uh oh. Come here, you kid. Oh, watch out. Oh, shit. <laughs> I knew it was going to bloody charge at me. I mean, it's good when... They get off. It's good when they charge, because then you have a chance to actually hit them whilst they're on the ground. Look at that. You see that? Did like a little ballerina twirl. I just love that the sword swipes give you stamina. That's why. That's probably why I use a sword so much, because I use a sword a ton. It's quicker, so you don't end up in a vulnerable position like when you use the axe. And uh, then you get your stamina back and you can use it for all of your cool powers once we've actually reached the mainland and got a few actually unlocked. It's bloody great. Obviously the axe does more damage though. To be honest it doesn't. In my own playthrough my axe actually does less damage than my sword because I've spent more time upgrading the sword. And I've also got um, a lot of armor pieces with like extra sword damage perks. He couldn't help but wonder if his story would one day all right. Hold amongst the stars. So, Hermes what? always says the stars tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Looks like I'll need to solve this to get to the missing wing piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clea once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. But I turned her into a juniper berry. So, overall, not a bad night. Right, so, we need to go and find four more constellation orbs and we need to place them in this grid and it's got to match up with that on the wall. And then we'll get some coins right from this little thing here and we'll, we'll also get the wing upgrade. Uh, there's a, I think there's an option you can turn on. As we're playing on hard, I don't think it's been turned on, but you could turn on an option, it actually shows you where the blue orbs are. I don't know why that they, they hide the blue orbs, because you have to solve puzzles to get them anyway, so let me turn that on, because I'm not going to faff around looking for blue orbs. Right. Constellation Myth Challenge. Oh, there we go. I've got the compass icons on. Yeah, there we go. So it actually shows me where the orbs are now. That's a lot more easier. I don't, I don't want it to faff around where I can't find them because that's not, that's not difficult. That's just irritating. <laughs> so, yeah. No, you've got to solve all the puzzles, though, to get the orbs anyway. So I thought they was on by default. Can I run when I'm holding these? Oh, yeah, you can. Right, so this one's going to go here. Lovely. There's another constellation orb over here. I'm not even sure what they're called. I'm just going to pull them once. Constellation orbs. I think they look pretty damn beautiful. Ah, you could break these walls. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can, Arthur. Oh, there we go. Oh, right, flip it out, right in the noggin. <laughs> just got knocked out nearly. It looks like you've got a little Milky Way floating in these orbs, doesn't it? They are beautiful. Reminds me of those lights you can get on. I think you can get them on Amazon. You probably get them in a lot of places, but they like float. You put them on this like little display thing, 
and they sort of flow. There's probably magnets in it to make it flow, and it glows like the actual moon. I think Crazy Russian Hacker might have showed it in a video before, but they're beautiful, but it sort, of, it sort of reminds me of them. I wouldn't mind having something like this floating around in my room. That'd be pretty damn cool, wouldn't it? Especially when I was a kid, I had like space-themed rooms, so I reckon that would have gone well in my room. Don't have it no more, obviously, but I did when I was a kid. <laughs> now I've just got the uh, grown-up boring white walls. <laughs> uh... How the hell do we get in there? Can I break that? Can you stop being annoying, Phoenix? I think we can jump up there. I hope I'm not being a twat. Hang on a minute. What's that? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. It was just a time trial. I think both of the orbs are in here. Yeah, they are. Uh, so what do we need to... Oh, there we go. Anything else? Not even giving me any chests or anything. You'd expect them to place a few chests around just to reward me for doing well, but nope. <laughs> right. Can we pick this one up? Okay, there we go. Lovely. Got three minutes left as well. Beautiful. Okay, so this one's going to go here. This one will go here. Beautiful. How many coins are we going to get from this? Caught eight. Nice. Welcome to the Golden Isle, in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again. Icarus, these are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here too, all these temples. I can't imagine losing a son like that, what it does to you. The wing piece recovered, and Aeolus' jar back from Tartaros. Now to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. <clears throat> what? I didn't kill Icarus. Daedalus's faulty wings did that. And where is Daedalus now? I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out eventually. Okay, right. So we can go to the top of the observatory now. And we can use our new wings and our jar to reach the mainland. But I'm going to have to do that in the next video. So we'll quickly climb up here and I'll grab the mushroom and that. And then we will do this in the next video. Sorry if you heard my dog barking then. Somebody knocked on the door and she went absolutely insane. <laughs> There's a lot of knocks on the door at the moment because of deliveries and stuff. Because Christmas is coming. And Sammy's having a whale of a time constantly barking. <laughs> What's in here? What's this? Oh, there's a chest in there. Oh. Do we have to do this? Oh, look, there's the uh, messenger guy. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Oh, sweet. Is that the helmet I need? Yes, there it is. That's the one I've been using. I used this one for a long time. I didn't actually get this one. I think I came back to the island much later in my uh, playthrough off camera. And then this is the uh, helmet I've been wearing. So I'm going to equip this helmet. I'm not really a, f a fan of how it looks. It looks pretty generic. So I always customise it and make it look like the lion armour set. There you go. You could actually get another variation of the lion helmet that looks a bit like a Scar from the Lion King, which is very cool. 
But um, yeah, as you level up your uh, armor and stuff, as you can see, this helmet gives me plus 10% damage on my sword. And then when I upgrade it to, I guess, rank 4, I'll get plus 20% stamina gained on every sword hit. So it's, it's very good. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video now. So thanks for watching, Wolf of Wets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack tonight.